In the last lecture, we optimized your images for these search results. And now in this lecture, we're going to cover off in the remaining points in the on page part of your SEO checklist, starting off with reducing bounce rates, you really want to make your topic clear right from the start. So it's suggested that you include your keyword in the first 100 words of your articles. And you can see that I've done that here, this SEO checklist, I'm making it very clear right from the start what this point is really or what this article is really about. The next thing that you can do after that is really give your SEO a boost with heading tags, include your keyword once in a H2 or a H3 subheading. You can see that I've actually done that a few different times here. I've got a technical SEO checklist. So the keyword is there SEO checklist. I've got it down here SEO checklist again. So those are my heading tags. They're very easy to make inside WordPress, if you're using WordPress, I can just write my heading tag here on page SEO checklist. And then I can change it to be a H2 heading tag there. Um, and that's as simple as that just include that there. I think it helps to really break up your content into different sections like the images you want to break up your content make it easy and scannable for people and allow them to really get through the content quickly so already we've covered off in the first two points there now including outbound links at least two outbound links to authority sites these should be popular blogs news sites edus government resources etc in every piece of content that you publish Essentially, what you want to show Google here is that you're in good company, you're referencing already established pieces of content or sites. So you can see here that I've got a ton of links here to really a lot of different tools and resources. Um, and these are all things that are gonna be helpful and relevant uh, for my audience. So I've covered off on that there. Now the next thing is internal links two to three internal links to articles. Uh, when you publish a new one. So I've done this here. Moving back up to the buyer persona, I've linked back to an article I've written that covers the marketing plan template, It covers buyer persona. There's one thing you'll notice there though that I've done wrong. And you can see that when it links out, it brings them directly to that page, I want them to maybe open that page, but I want them to remain on this page. So whenever you're doing external or internal links, you want to make sure that when they click on the link, it opens in a new tab. This is very easy to edit as well. You can just come in, find my buyer persona link here, click on it, click on the little gear icon, I want to make sure that opens up in a new tab. And then I'm just going to save that there as simple as that. Now that has been updated. And you can see when I click on it now it opens up in a new tab, rather than getting me to leave the page. So that's an important point for your internal and external links to do that. The other thing now in point number 20 is to publish longer content, you want to make your blog post at least 300 words, this one here is about a 1000 words, and uh, even longer for more competitive keywords. Another thing you want to do, Point number 21 is to add prominent social sharing buttons. Now this is a brand new article, nobody's seen it. But uh, you really want to be able if people like this to share it out. And that really helps it to spread and get into other people's hands. So if you do not have social sharing buttons, one that I would maybe recommend is dig dig here. There's loads of different social sharing buttons that you can uh, choose from and compare. Um, but this is just one that you could potentially use. Now the final thing is, you can really double check everything. I've got an SEO audit tool here that you can use. Uh, all you need to do is put in your URL, put in your keyword and it'll test everything. I think this is particularly useful if you do not have a WordPress site. A lot of these checks will be done in the SEO audit uh, or the SEO Yoast tool rather. So that is a very handy tool you can just use to double check anything, it'll scan your page and tell you how you're doing on all of these different areas. So that really wraps up the on page SEO checklist. I know it looked like quite a big list. But actually, it's very easy to get through the content quickly. 
that is a process that you want to use again and again so come back here and really check that before you publish your next blog post or even have a look at this uh, checklist recapping on what work you've already done to see if you can improve it slightly so that wraps up the on-page SEO checklist. Now we're moving on to link building. Very important part of uh, SEO. Those links really show Google that you're an authority on the topic. So we're going to get into really looking at your link building strategy, your whole approach to it, and then a couple of strategies and techniques to get more links to your new content. So I'll see you in the next lecture.